Hi everybody, hope you're well. This video is requested by Hanover and in this video I'm going to be talking about what determines how the skills of divines are raised. So I'm going to talk about a few divines. I'm not going to talk about all of them because we would literally be here all day. But I'm going to start off with just about five examples that will give you a general overview. But if you want to know about a specific divine then you need to go to the divine itself and then click here. And if there is anything that you need to know it should be listed there. So I'm going to start off with the Falabella, and the reason I'm going to start off with the Falabella is because the Falabellas are like regular horses. You can do rides, you can do training, you can do competitions and mission lessons. So if, for example, if we hover over this, now this one, this particular one is over 25, so it's not going to gain any more uh, skills from lessons. Um, but if I hover over the competitions, you can see that we can gain in skills from competitions. I've completed the training with this one, but if I click on the rides, I can gain in skills from the rides. Now that obviously will have a limit, like once you hit that limit, like just like a regular horse, then you'll not be able to gain any more. But they're very interesting, they're very much like a normal horse in that respect. Then you have other types of divines, and we use Devoted Indigo for this example. Divines with fixed skills. What I mean by this is, I got this one a couple of days ago, it came with all the rides done, all the training was done, um, I wouldn't gain anything from competitions either, and I don't gain anything in skills from the missions and the lessons. This horse has a fixed set of skills. So this is how many skills it has, and that will always be the case. So it's a divine that doesn't change. Then you have something like the gemstone divines, for example. The gemstone divines are horses that you use diamonds to increase their skills. So their skills can change. You can see this little plus sign at the side. Whereas if we go back to uh, Devoted Indigo, you can see there's no such plus sign, for example. So with this one, as you can see, you can increase the skills using diamonds. So what you do if you want to increase the skills is click on the side and it said, do you want to add 10 skill points to your horse by using a diamond? And then you would click OK if you wanted to do that. So those are, um, this is a divine type that skills are manipulated by diamonds. Now, moving on, I'm going to use the planet divines for this example. So the planet divines, whenever I got mine, it was already trained, competition well done, and... It couldn't get anything from missions, but it has a special type of ride, not a beach ride. And this special type of ride gains skills. So if I just do the skills there, you can see that suddenly this pops up. And I can add skills on if I click, because you can see the skills going up. So with this particular type, um, you can go on rides to increase the skills. In this particular case, with supernova rides. And then we have another kind. This is the Rain Divine, and this is one of the divines that is very spontaneous. This is one of the divine types that what happens is every day the skills are different, and this is quite random. So if we just go to here, you can see her skills change each day. When she, one, one day she could be great at galloping, the next day she could be great at stamina. So these skills change and shift, and there's no real way to predict how they're going to go. So that is basically some of the basic ways that divine skills can either be manipulated or not manipulated, and some of them are completely random. So anyway, thank you to Hanover for requesting the video, and I hope you said a lovely day. Bye guys.